Shalom to all of you precious chosen people of the Most High Yah that are out there in this great big world that I call social media. This is your brother Dana coming to you from the city of Chicago. And I know you are well aware of another Hebrew brother having his life snuffed out by the hands of white supremacy. And I can't imagine the fear that rises up. Not that what we are seeing has ever changed. And I know you more than any of us know that what we saw with George Floyd and, and the others is nothing new. It's just hard to imagine that people who call themselves followers of a God, that call themselves pro-life, that life begins at conception. And how dare we abort a baby when that heart begins to beat but yet with their hands they'll watch black men and women's heartbeat stopping in ways that are more grotesque and cruel even the way they say they do an abortion and yet they are have failed to even do what is right. But tonight when I was um, home, getting ready to chill a little bit, I, I helped my girlfriend Gina uh, move the majority of her apartment as she's getting ready to move. And as I was getting ready tonight and calming down, I, I heard, I heard in my, in my heart, just Abel, tell him I hear Abel. And so I want to read Genesis chapter four. To you, my Hebrew brothers and sisters, as a word from the Most High Yah that I pray will encourage your hearts in the season that we are experiencing. Now Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil, and in the course of time Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering unto the Most High Yah. And Abel also brought an offering fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. And so the Most High Yah looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain became very angry, angry and in his face was very downcast. And then the Most High Yah said to Cain, Why are you angry and why is your face downcast? If you, Cain, if you, white evangelical America, would do what is right, would I not have accepted you? But if you do not do what is right, this sin of white supremacy, is crouching at your door, it desires to have you. But you must try to overrule it. And so it says in verse 8 that Cain sent to his brother Abel and said, let's go out into the field. And while they were in the field, Cain, white evangelical Americans, for 400 years, killed their brother Abel. Then the Most High Yah said to Cain, 
Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he said, white evangelical America said, am I my brother Abel's keeper? And then the Most High Yah said, what have you done? What have you done? Listen, your brother, George Floyd, and every other brother and sister of yours that have gone before him are crying out. What have you done? Because your brother's and your sister's blood cries out to me from the ground. And if you would have only done what was right through all these years, 400 or so to be exact. And do you know that even the mayor of Minneapolis today said, that this horrible death of George Floyd is not just a one-time incident, but he says the black community has been suffering these things for 400 years. And yet, white evangelical America, we have failed to do what is right. And now, because you and I have always taught about a justice God, a God that will pay people back if they do not follow his decrees and his laws and his word, now you are under this curse, white. America. And you will be driven from the ground which opened its mouth to receive your brother's and your sister's blood from your hand, the hand of white supremacy. So now, now when you work the ground, it will no longer yield you its crops. and you will be a restless wanderer on the earth. We know that crops represent much more today. It represents economy. If only we would have done what is right. And so to you, my Hebrew brothers and sisters, I hope this word will bring you encouragement to know, to know that the Most High Yah in this season now is saying, I have heard the cry of my brother. George Floyd, and now the curse will be lifted from you and placed on all your enemies. All praises to the Most High Yah. All praises to the Most High Yah for bringing justice to bring justice, to bring justice for your chosen people. Place in their hearts a hope to know that this is the season 
This is the time that they will see your hand of vengeance and freedom that will be greater than they could ever even imagine it to be. <laughs>